With the introduction of MD Python, the MD Python GUI designer is now available in MatDeck. The MD Python library allows you to utilize the entirety of MatDeck's functions as well as toolboxes, but in Python code. This is perfect for people who are more comfortable in coding in Python, as it now introduces the entirety of MatDeck and its functions in their preferred language. It also gives them access to things such as instruments, as well as toolboxes such as Virtuament and Scala. You can access the MD Python GUI designer just like any other GUI designer. So you click the small triangle on the right hand side of the new icon, hover over new Python script, and at the bottom you can open an MD Python script. Now to open the GUI designer and use the instruments, all you need to do is click the programming tab, then the GUI designer icon and click new. MD Python doesn't just bring instruments to Python, it also brings some new widgets. For example, the FTDI widget is ready to use in the MD Python GUI designer. You can also add 3D graphs as well as 2D graphs and a table widget as well. Now, instruments work exactly like any other widgets, so all you need to do is click on one, for example, the circular analog or the digit meter and then click where on the canvas you would like to place them. You can customize instruments using the right hand side or for a more in-depth customization experience, you can right click on the instrument and then select properties. In these tabs, you can see the advanced level of customization. You can also see this in other instruments such as the analog circular. Once again, all you need to do is click properties. Here you can see how you can customize every single aspect of the instrument. In the GUI designer, you can also directly connect instruments to other channels which are created by other instruments or which are created by code. We can see this if we add an input instrument, such as a switch. Now, when we go into the properties and head over to the needle, you can see that there is now a channel which when we click select and apply, the instrument will be connected to. Now, let's add a slider and customize it. So as you can see, we can choose what type of slider we can add. For example, a horizontal slider. And then we need to head over to the properties again. Now, from here, we can customize things such as the scale, what type of button we have. For example, we can change the color to perhaps a red color, and then also how the button exactly looks. We can also change the slider background. For example, these four all have backgrounds, However, this is a clear background. Now, once we click apply, we can see the changes. We can also add an event function to any of the instruments. This means that, for example, whenever the slider is changed or moved, the event function will be triggered. All you need to do is type in a name, click add new, then click on the instrument and choose the event function. Now, when we click done, all the code will be generated. First, to make a channel, we'll need to use the channel create function. To do that, we'll first need to declare a variable such as self.ch1. Then we need to call the function. As you can see, as we start writing the function's name, a list of suggestions will come up. This allows us to easily pick our function without using the incorrect syntax or making a simple mistake in the spelling. MatDeck functions always say which arguments are needed using a tooltip below. As we can see here, we need to write the channel direction in a string. In this instance, it will be rw. And here, we need to write the channel name. I'm going to be calling it Python1. Now that we've created a channel, all we need to do is link it to an instrument. This is done by using the instrument's event function. As you can see, in this scenario, we're going to be using the channel write function. However, you can use other functions, such as the channel read function. Now, all we need to do is write our arguments into the function. Here, we need to write the channel object, which, as we've defined above, is self.ch. Then, we need to add our second argument, which is what we would be sending over the channel. In this instance, it is the widget value of our slider. To get the value of any widget in MD Python, whether it's an instrument or one of our GUI widgets, all you need to do is use the widget value function and type in the name of the widget, which in this case is self.horselider1. You can change the visual aspect of your code and the GUI itself without affecting the code that you've added. To do this, all you need to do is open the GUI designer and then click edit. Now, as you can see, if we were to change what our GUI would look like 
and then click done to generate our code again. The code we have written ourselves has not been changed. Now we can evaluate our code and see what our widget looks like. And here is the widget that we have created. This widget has also created that channel so we can now access it through Virtuament and SCADA. To access Virtuament and SCADA we need to head over to the toolbox tab and then from there we can open Virtuement. Now we need an instrument which can read the values written from the slider, for example a digit meter. From there to connect it we need to head over to the digit meters properties and to the display tab. Now as we can see there are two channels. The slider 1 channel is automatically generated when the slider was put into the GUI. However this channel can only be viewed and used by MatDeck and its toolboxes. However the Python 1 channel can be used by anything. This example will connect to the Python 1 channel. To do this, you need to click on it, then click select, and then click apply. And just like that, we can use the slider to send information to Virtuman. As you can see, the digit meter in Virtuman responds in real time. We can also use this concept to use Matrix SCADA with the Python code. Just like with Virtuman, we need to open the SCADA toolbox. Now with the SCADA, instead of going on properties and adding instruments, all you need to do is click import channel tags and click yes if we want the default instruments. As we can see, the default instrument for our slider, which writes information, is an analog circular. However, since we defined our Python 1 channel as reading and writing, it is just assigned a slider. Now what you need to do is enable these tags. You can do this by either ticking enable tag on each of them or clicking enable all tags. After that all we need to do is start the scatter panel and now we can write information from our slider. As you can see it also responds in real time just like Virtuman. However with the scatter you can also easily log the information. The main difference between scatter and Virtuman is that while Virtuman is solely a virtual instrumentation panel which uses visual aids such as the instruments to showcase written and read information, SCADA also utilizes databases and .txt files to log this information simultaneously. MatDeck channels can also be used to communicate between two independent apps on the same desktop or on different desktops. Remember that if you have a version of MatDeck which is above the MD Python designer, you can add an unlimited amount of GUI widgets as well as instruments. To read or write the value of an instrument, we can use the set widget value or widget value functions. However, we can also directly create and connect channels in the GUI designer. This is done by adding an instrument and then going to its properties. Then we need to head over to the needle tab. As you can see, we have both our channels, slider one, which was automatically generated by MatDeck and Python one, which is the one we have created. To connect to one, all we need to do is click it, then click select and finally, apply. To create a channel all you need to do is add an instrument which writes data for example a generator, a slider or even a switch. You can also make the canvas bigger by clicking on it and then dragging it down. Now to see these channels we need to add instruments which can read the data for example a digit meter, a thermometer, tank and also the VU meters also will read the data as well as the analog edge and the two analog linears. However, for now I'm just going to add three digit meters. Now if we go into the properties of any of the digit meters and head over to the display we can see the channels which we have added which are generator 1, slider 4 and switch 4. Again all we need to do to connect them is click on it, click select and then apply. Then we can click done and evaluate our code. Now as you can see the generator is writing to digit meter 1 and if we move the slider we can see how this is writing to the other digit meter and finally how the switch is also writing to the last digit meter. However we can also open our old Python example and see how when we move the slider the analog circular will change in real time. As you can see MatDeck allows you to communicate between two independent apps very easily and without the need of code as we can simply link the channels inside the GUI designer.